All right, so I am inside of my email and I want to put in a dynamic coupon code, okay? So we're in here, we're in like a kind of starter Klaviyo template here. And you're wondering how the heck do I get a coupon in here that's gonna be dynamic for each individual person? Here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna jump back into the front end of Klaviyo and get to the coupon section. You're gonna find that coupon section here on the left. So underneath content and then coupons. Inside, you're gonna have an option to create your Shopify coupon. So we're gonna jump in and create it. So once in here, you're going to select a name. So just so you know, it has to be uh, either a single, like no spaces, like a single word, or you have to use an underscore. So let's say this is a test sale. And then your prefix, which is totally optional, but usually I put it in there. This could be the name of your sale. So let's pretend this is a Black Friday sale, right? BF sale. We'll, we'll, we'll do that, you know what? So as a real life example. So we have a Black Friday sale and we can pick here what we want the type of discount to be. So we're gonna go with percentage and say it's 20% off. We'll do entire order. You can also come here and select certain products. Maybe it's like one type of product or a collection. And then activation is gonna be at send time or a specific date. I recommend at send time. That's gonna be your cleanest, cleanest way to do this. Expiration. So this is where you can come in and say, hey, I want it to expire in five days after it's sent. So this will be five days after activation or you could do a specific date. Then you're gonna collect create coupon. All right, now that your coupon is created, we see it in here. All right, let's get it plugged into our email. All right, now we're back in our template and it's time to plug in where we want our code. So let's pretend we are gonna have it here of use code blank. That is when you're gonna paste in this specific variable. So if you don't have this saved, I'm gonna put it in the description so you can easily find it. It's not something, at least right now, hopefully Clavio will fix this in the future, you can't just dynamically insert it in with like, you know, like a, a widget here. You kinda of just have to know that this is the variable or there's a help doc that Clavio has that kind of lists this out. Okay, what we need to do though is swap out coupon name here in between these two little quotations. So back into our code, we have our code here, BF underscore sale. Plug it in. Uh, I recommend going into the source code because it keeps it super clean. There won't be issues with like copy and pasting it, but you will paste it in where coupon name was. And then you then have it, just make sure these quotations stay in, make sure these brackets, these percent signs, these all have to stay in order for this to work. And you know that nothing is broken if you see these little you know, blue kind of dots going around your variable. That way you know it's, it's, it's working. So what we can do is come over here and hit preview. And this is how you can know that your code is set and ready to go. Once you click preview, you'll see it'll have the name, dash, and then preview. If for any reason this doesn't appear or it says coupon not available, something funky like that, something's not set up right. And it may be that you've dropped a piece of your variable or changed something, but it should have name of what you named your coupon and then preview. And that way you know it's going to work for that contact once it's sent out. That is how you plug in a dynamic coupon. That is literally it. As long as you remember to kind of uh, plug this variable in, change these pieces, that is, uh, that is how difficult it gets. It's pretty darn easy. Hopefully this was helpful, solved a question that you had lingering about how to do these darn dynamic coupons, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.